Welcome back to a new video. My name is Derek and this is our new ZJ 5.9 project. So as you can see, we got some stickers on the thing. It's beat up a little bit. This is the only side that has any rust in it. This rocker, it's got a little hole. We can fill that, put a new, uh, some more sheet metal on that. You can see they've cut into the fender right here a little bit. So uh, I wasn't planning on trimming them, but we're gonna go ahead and do that now since it is messed up on both sides. Um, body's okay. We got the 5.9 vents are painted with the same color paint as the front bumper which isn't the factory color that the body is um, we've got a little bit of rust and some dents um, just from some damage Let's see there's a few dents here and we got some sliders on it so those are nice those are welded on so we've got 18s, these are 285, or sorry, 325, 60, 18s. So it comes out to be in like a 33.2 by 12.9-ish. Um, back fenders look good. Like I said, there's no rust on the unibody itself. It did, as we get to the suspension, it's really janky. All that's gonna have to be redone. But as far as the unibody goes, it is fairly clean. see a few dents but there's the factory paint on the rear bumper as well and we got the 44 in the back since it is a 5.9 v8 uh, we got some lines hanging down brake lines vacuum hoses that kind of stuff they do have a cb antenna mounted here it's like a fire stick but it's pretty uh pretty wobbly wouldn't want probably gonna pull that out and then on this side, we've got a big dent. I think we can pull that out and then fix this surface. Um, they painted these with the same paint as they used on the bumper and the vents. And then just a few dings here and there. Um, this is probably the, some of the worst part of it. And right here on the hood. And the bumper that's not color matched but we do have long arms on it and you can see right here the fender it's been cut so we'll go ahead and cut that like my wj um don't have any holes in these rockers they look good as far as that and yeah you can see i mean this is janky so um i mean i don't know where to start you got this coil that looks interesting but obviously this big hole um, unfortunately, they decided to weld on a bunch of supporting metal to do their own lift kit. So they bought some arms and then they just kind of welded on pieces of metal to hold it. <laughs> and this is the biggest hole in the unibody. So that's going to have to be fixed. I'm sure there's rust around it. Um, but that's the only spot I've seen a hole in the unibody. 
And then underneath, you can see we have long arms, but they made their own mount, looks like. And the long arm is the shortest possible. It's a rough country long arm. Shortest possible. And there's your alignment on it. So obviously they use the stock bracket and then they dropped it down a little bit. So they put the long arm. So when the bracket's supposed to go somewhere back here, I'm sure, so that you can actually have your arms, your axle centered. I'm not really sure what the plan is yet. As you can see, the unibody's very clean. The only parts that are rusting away is where they welded or added random metal. So you can cut all that off, clean it up. Um, does have a slip yoke eliminator on it, which is kind of cool. It is still the 249 uh, transfer case. But yeah, then they put these arms, they use the short arms and welded random metal. You got your long arms, which actually have decent brackets here. Looks like semi-correct brackets. And then they've got random bolts welded. We got random bolts welded just to just for extra metal to hold stuff like there's a random bolt right there welded just to add metal for support it's all over the place i don't remember where i saw all those bolts earlier um but yeah the body is all clean except for the areas where they welded on so it's gonna have to be all cleaned up um but at least most of the unibody is good to go. Um, so we got the long arms on the bottom on the back, but short arms up top. The front's just as janky. There's random bolts welded as well. Yeah, here we go. So you got this random bolt here uh, where they cut off the factory arm. I don't know why that bolt's there. And up front he said it needs uh ball joints and tie rod which i think it needs a lot more than that <laughs> but she fires right up which is a good thing on the back is the funniest probably the track bar you get this giant hole in the bracket so you literally feel that as you drive it Sways back and forth. Um, axles look okay. Just random brake line clips. Brakes seem to work. Um, I think she'll clean up good, but definitely gonna be quite a bit of work. And this thing is pretty tall. I'll show you next to the, uh, the WJ, but it's a lot bigger than what I thought it was gonna be. Inside, you got your factory leather trim. Seats are a little torn up, which they are in my WJ too. Missing the headliner. Um, so the sliders, I mean, this thing's tall, it's above my knee. Go ahead and hop up here. And you can see they sealed up the sunroof so it wouldn't leak so i would like to obviously clean all that up roof's really d dirty but not any rust got some holes here from the light bracket um but anyway let's stick to the good part hop in this bad girl all right so put the key in Fires right up. So that's a good thing. When we test drove it, nothing was blinking here. I think this is because saying something's open. Um, but it, nothing was blinking like that when we first drove it. But we opened everything up, so I wonder if there's a way to make that stuff go away. Maybe the sensors aren't catching or whatever. But um, yeah, missing the radio. Back seats look pretty good. And uh, the roof looks clean, so like I said, really the only rust is where they added stuff, unfortunately. Really wish they wouldn't have done all that, but that's all right. Clean up the unibody where they've added all that crappy metal and random bolts.
just got a squeak from the AC compressor you said, but it's definitely on the belt. So I don't think much of that. So that's the new ZJ 5.9. Uh, let me know what you guys want to see with it. I really think I would like to just pull everything off, cut all those random mounts off, the random metal off, and clean up the whole unibody um, where they had welded all that kind of crap, and restart. So do like a small, I don't know, IRO lift, uh, maybe short arms with some Rubicon takeoffs, or we could even use these long arms that are on here, um, get some adjustable upper arms in the back, and put it on 35s or you want to see five and a half inch on like 33s um, or should we just go to one ton swab right away which I'd really like to get you know hit the trails with a little bit and not have it down super long um, I'd like to get out there and drive it so I think we can kind of go back to the start clean it all up body touch up paint repaint the bumper everything like that get it looking really nice again do the headliner um, and then get some get some wheeling in with it like that in 33s and then we can do one tons in like 37s i'd be down for that lockers and everything like that so just let me know what you guys think and can't wait to get into some projects with this and work on finishing the wj and get them both out on the trail uh, thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one